So in this video, we'll be going over the problem of a car sitting on a bridge. And so we're told that the bridge weighs 5,000 newtons and is 40 meters long. It's being supported on two ends, the left end and the right end. It has a car weighing 1,500 newtons and that car is located 12 meters from the right support. We're asked to find what are the forces from each support, the left and the right on the bridge. So what we're trying to find is the force by the left support and the force by the right support those are going to be pointing upwards because they're you can almost imagine them as a normal force and those are going to be in terms of newtons for units first step in all of the problems is to define our coordinate system i'm going to choose up to be positive y direction to the right to be the positive x direction and then counterclockwise to be the positive direction for rotation. So as with everything, we need to start by defining our forces. We know we're gonna have a force at the supports. So we're gonna have a force pointing upwards on this left side, F sub L. And then we're going to have a force on this right side, F sub bar. We know that the bridge has a weight associated with it. So that weight force is going to be pointing downwards from its geometrical center. So its center of mass is just located halfway, um, halfway of its length which is 40 meters. So at 20 meters, right in the middle, the weight force will be pointing downwards and the weight of the bridge is equal to 5,000 newtons. Then we know a car is 12 meters from the right side of the pier. That has a weight associated with it. The weight W sub C for the car is equal to 1500 newtons so we have four forces acting this matches up with what we were told in the problem so now we just need to draw out our distances so we know the span of the bridge is 40 meters from the left support to the right support we know that the car is 12 meters from the right side of the pier. So we should be good in those terms. The next thing we need to do is we need to figure out uh, where our pivot points are going to be. Because remember, we need to, to have a, a system in equilibrium, rotational equilibrium, the sum of the torques about a certain pivot point must sum to zero. And so we really hope that this bridge is not rotating. That would not be good for whoever's in that car. So we hope that it is in equilibrium. So for this case, we're actually gonna need to choose two pivot points. And the most logical pivot points are the supports. So the left support and the right support. Because you can imagine if one of those is free to move, then it could rotate about that, that support. So we just need to choose which support we want to call which. So I'm going to call P1, pivot 1 to be this support on the right hand side and then I'm going to choose the pivot two point 
to be the pivot point for this left hand side. So having rotation about each of those pivot points. And now what we can do is we can see what tendency the torque caused by the different forces are about those pivot points. So starting with pivot one, we have three forces that would tend to cause a rotation about that pivot point. The forces are the weight from the car, the weight due to the, to the mass of the bridge, and then the support from the left-hand side. So about pivot point one, the weight force from the car and the weight force from the bridge's weight are going to cause a rotation. Those torques are actually going to cause a rotation that is counterclockwise. So it's going to tend to rotate the bridge span about that point in the counterclockwise direction. So that means those torques will be positive. Then for the final force, which is the force due to the left end support, that will cause a rotation that's clockwise. And so that will cause a torque that is negative. So now we're gonna do the same exact thing for pivot point two, which is about the left side. Again, we have the force that's the weight of the bridge and the force that is the weight of the car. Those are, at, those are some distance away from that pivot point, so those will cause torques about the pivot point if it's free to rotate about pivot point two. Those are going to be in the clockwise direction now. So those torques will be negative about the pivot point too. So this highlights how depending on what your pivot point is, you need to be careful about the sign of the torque. And then for the right pivot, the torque caused by the right support, that will be in the counterclockwise direction. That torque will cause a counterclockwise rotation, so that torque is going to be positive. Next thing we need to do is draw a free body diagram for the bridge system. So we have the weight of the bridge pointing downwards, WB. We have the weight of the car pointing downwards, and then, assuming we are in equilibrium, we have the force due to the left support and then the force due to the right support. And that's our free body diagram for this system. So in equilibrium, rotational equilibrium, we know that the sum of the torques must be zero because a torque tends to cause an object to rotate. And then for, if it's not accelerating, if it's in equilibrium, then we know that the sum of the forces must be zero as well. We know that the torque is equal to the force times the distance from the pivot point times the sine of the angle between those two vectors. And so I'm gonna show two ways to be able to solve for the left and right support forces. And the first, way is going to be using two different pivot points to isolate each of those forces. And so starting with pivot point one, which is the right side, we sum the torques about that pivot point. We've already determined what the sign of the torques will be. So most of the work is done for us. And so we have the torque of the bridge plus the torque of the car minus the torque by the left support force. Substituting in all those values, we find a, a left support force of 2950 newtons. Now summing the 
torques about the second pivot point, which was about the left side pivot point. We have a positive torque by the right support force, and then we have a negative torque from the bridge and the car. And we find that the right side support force is 3550 newtons. And so say we didn't choose two pivot points. Say we only chose pivot point one, which was about the right side. So this case only. Then we know the force due to the left side. And we can use Newton's second law to solve for the force due to the right support. Remember, the sum of the forces must equal zero in equilibrium. So we have the force by the right support plus the force by the left support minus the weight of the bridge minus the weight of the car equals zero. And what you find is the same result. You find that for the right side support force, it's equal to 35, 50 newtons. And so there's two different ways to do it. You can either solve it entirely using summing the torques. You just have to choose two different pivot points and determine what the signs of those torques are. Or you can only choose, you can just choose one support to act as the pivot point. Solve for the one force, the opposite force, and then you can use Newton's second law to solve for the other support force. 